Hello? Howdy ho. Yo, what's up, Remo, dude? Dude, that's so crazy, man. You're going down an old MMO rabbit hole, huh? Yeah, because we were hey. talking we were talking about how MMOs are, are um they're just different back then, you know? Like the whole vibe. But are they different or are we different? Yeah, that's I, the real I think question. it's a bit of both. It really I I a bit it's of a bit both. both. I feel like as I get older, it seems more obvious to me, and I think most people have realized this too. Yeah. The the games we grew up playing, whether it was like Ragnarok Online, whether it was Ultima Online for me, like a lot of these games, they feel special because they were like our first MMO. When I got messages when I ran MMOs.com and MMO back in the day, I get messages like, oh my god, I played Legend of Ares back in the day and it was like the best MMO ever. But like, and I, and I read that, I'm like, no, it was a piece of shit <laughs> no, game. Then, a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> no, they were. It was were. a piece of shit game today. No, no those games were all shit. <laughs> but people love them because it was their first game. And you, the, the way you feel for RuneScape, anyway, in the chat, the way you feel for World of Warcraft, whether you feel for EverQuest if you're a boomer, all those games, they felt special to you because they were probably one of your first MMOs ever. But okay, so people feel the same way for shit games. So I think that's true because, I mean, there wasn't really much out, th uh, out then within that genre, right? So, like, there mm -hmm. were a lot of shit games back then. Yep. But, I mean, you have to admit there has been a shift in, like, the actual way that the games socialize. And I think that's, at least for me, a big part of it. It's like, that was like kind of like the way that we socialized, right? And it's like yep. a lot of the games nowadays, it's like a lot of it is very mechanical, right? Like get in raid, don't talk, you know what the fuck you're doing? Did you watch the video? Okay, let's go. It's kind of <laughs> like that, right? Whereas before it was like, you know what the hell you're doing? Nobody knows what's going on. Like you had to like really look at like game facts. There wasn't like the YouTube all guy. Of then, not MMOs. I feel like every game, well, there was like well, no, a the little more community. Well, well, yes, but the difference was that um, MMOs had other people in them, right? So so, I mean, that doesn't mean difference. Yeah, to learn, you had to socialize. Yeah. The pacing of the games have all changed. Too. Everything's definitely a little bit faster paced now. Yeah, like but, even yeah. the play games, like even 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 playing, like, you know, looking for a group and stuff like that. Like you had to like know people and talk to mm -hmm. Um, It's not really like that anymore. Like, I mean, I, I recall the very last time I played Final Fantasy 14 mm -hmm. was uh, do the daily like like roulette, get in, nobody talks. Do you know what you're oh, yeah. doing? Oh, okay, fuck. go, right? Nobody ever talks. Nobody, Nobody does. And, and, and nope. it was different before. People did talk before. And the thing is, is like, uh, again, the, the thing that really leads me to believe that this is true is that we actually have experienced a case of this not being uh, the, uh, of, we, we've experienced a more recent case of the older phenomenon. And that was mm. uh, when VR gaming came out. VR, because VR gaming had a much uh, smaller community. There wasn't as many people mm. that like could play it. And uh, Chaos can attest to this too. We yeah. played a VR MMO and it was very, it the, had the feeling well, of the, the old the reason MMOs. That, the reason it worked was because VR fundamentally separates you from the things that take you out of the game. So you, it's very hard to go on Discord and read yes, Discord and have exactly. Discord on a separate screen screen or go on a wiki or whatever all, youtube videos all that stuff while you're in vr because you've got a headset strapped to your face so all of the talking and socializing and all that stuff is still there in the vr element outside of that when you're playing an mmo if you got a second monitor that's that shit is on youtube or your discord constantly and it's it's taking 50 percent of your attention away from the game at all times mm -hmm. so honestly we can all blame discord again for because now <laughs> we have a separate place to socialize now and i know everybody here on the chat and you can leave as well if you like most of us do our socializing on Discord. Yes. Gaming is no longer, MMOs and gaming are no longer the avenue to socialize. It's all separated between mm -hmm, you know, Discord and the game. Mm -hmm. yeah, I actually I, got an email recently. Mm -hmm. I, I got to bring, bring up this one more time. Uh, no, go ahead. Your your memories playing these, whatever MMO it was, it's not special. Because I got an email from a guy who's basically saying, you know, oh, I was a fan of MMOs like I'm more, I'm more back in the day. And he's telling me that basically his favorite MMO of all time was Legend of Ares. Maybe put, put, up, put up on stream what this game looks like. So this guy's telling me this was my favorite MMORPG of all time. I've played it since I was 11 years old. And like, he loves the game so much. And he loved it so much that now that he's an adult and he's been working for a while, he saved up money. He contacted the South it's Korean developer and has an official license to bring back this dead game sense. that he loved so much. Get, the game shut down in the West like years ago. But yeah, this guy loved this game so much. He went out of his way, he set up a company, he hired developers, and he's doing it himself to bring back this game. But this game is a piece of shit. He remembers <laughs> it as something beyond what it is. And this is somebody having played this game. I played this game more than I played most of the other shitty games on MMOH and MMOs.com. I've played so many of these no, games. Pretty bad. I, played, I played this one at least like 10 times more than I played the other one. So I will say it's not as shit as some of the other ones, but it is atrocious. This is, I'm sorry, it's a zero. It looks there's pretty no, fucking bad, dude. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's right 2024. Now. If you're playing this game, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry. This guy feels called out if he ever sees this clip. <laughs> it kind of like, uh, kind of like reminds me of like um, Rose Online, dude. I was uh, th th that's what started this whole thing. I was looking at Rose Online. And I was like, dude, that game was fucking garbage, <laughs> dude. This was like kind of like uh, like maybe maybe like 10, 10 years ago or so. It was like kind of like the golden era of like shitty Asian MMOs, dude. There was so mm -hmm. many that came out. It's insane. See, I, I feel ones. like your time here is, is like skewed. I feel like it was longer than 10 years ago. Oh, it, it, yeah, it might have it been like 14, is, yeah. like 14 years. Co yeah, it'd be, it'd be more 14, like 14, 14, 15. Yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right, you're like right. Or three oh, here like you go. Legendary is like uh, gameplay first look, seven yeah. years. Quick first impression. Th th that was for on MMOs.com. On MMOs, I uploaded the videos from 15 years ago. Okay, these games are way... Chaos is right. There's, you got memory hold to think this is 10 years yeah. old dude this, this stuff looks, is way older dude this dude 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 okay this looks kind of better though like this new one like it looks a little bit better like i don't know if this like the recording or something but well it's a nice hit graphics it was kind of nice this is pretty juker though <laughs> well listen since i called this guy out so much his version of legend of aries is launching on may 2nd for the alpha test so if you ever want to see what this shit game looks oh, like oh yeah yo give me a link give me a link yeah the guy so i i, I really shot on this guy's you know game that he's bringing back so I maybe we should you, at least you can post give him a links plug. you can actually post okay. links in chat because you have a vip you can there it okay. is guys aries wait so wait he so so he paid money for the license and then he hired yep. an entire team team and made a company uh, to like yeah well clearly he, he, he's yeah he's building it. <laughs> oh, no. it, it, it's gonna go nowhere there's no hope for this game but this guy he has a special link to this game because he's playing since he was 11 years old it's for he him operated though, the top dude. guild of the game he he operates from the top guilds in the game okay he like made tools for the game so he can like play the game better this guy was so into this game there are 79 people on their discord okay Remo. that's 79 yeah. <laughs> players think of it think of the 79 concurrent players that they're gonna have okay Okay. If they even get that, most of those like his probably his like friends and like I don't know his parents. I don't I don't know. I don't know all these guys. But That's it, so it, it just, weird. It, it's sad in a way, but yeah. I mean, you could have made it. I, I, I mean, I guess it depends like how much it costed, right? It's like maybe like, yeah, yeah, if it sure, was really sure. cheap. But like mm -hmm. maybe you could have like, just made his own version of it. That's better, you know. And just say like and mm -hmm. just say it was like you know we're bringing it back because we really like Legend of Aries and we mm -hmm. wanted the game like it. And they could have made a better mm -hmm. one. This guy actually reached out to my friend uh, who also wrote for Mos.com, uh, my friend sean gumbel and he offered to pay him for like tips on how to improve the game and take that away from you but it's not special anymore i feel like my enjoyment of these old games was devalued when i learned these other guys had the same experience with the shittiest possible games yeah exactly it's it's mm -hmm. all just it's all just the social element i feel mm -hmm. like everybody's just it got an matter. attachment to that like that first online magical social element and i feel like that, that's going to be it. like even even kids today while it's probably different it, it's still going to be someone's favorite like old mmo mm -hmm. or even like other games like like kids one thing that surprised me and like kids are still experiencing the same thing with fucking runescape they're just playing it on mobile because runescape's on mobile I'll like i i went i went to like a birthday party with middle schoolers and stuff uh -huh. and they're playing they're playing they're playing old school runescape the same the same fucking game you were playing <laughs> <laughs> millennia ago but they're just playing it on their phones instead because it's on mobile so why are they're, people they're having, they're having the same exact experience that we, we had back in the day and they're probably like they're gonna have the same nostalgia 10 years later but why are people playing uh, like I, I guess i i never really got into runescape personally so i don't really understand it like like why did people get so into runescape like what's the what's the deal here um I feel like well, one thing that's really good about it is the quests just have a lot of charm. They're not uh -huh. they're they're e they're either goofy or interesting in a lot of special ways. All it's also got a lot of the uh, good feeling of like number goes up. It's it's slow it's slow paced enough that grinds take a long time, but it's also simultaneously rewarding enough that it feels like it's worth doing any grind, which which keeps a lot of people invested for a long time. Beyond that, there it's it's a game with just a lot of shit to do and a lot lot of a lot of things to learn but there's there's just there's just a lot of content and that's that's part of the problem with making a new mmo these days uh -huh. it's like if you make a new mmo you're competing with mmos that have been out for like 20 years you're competing well, with that much 20 20 expensive. years of content and yeah they're difficult to develop it's not like it's you have to develop everything for multiplayer and you have to consider multiplayer elements like oh this resource is going to get mined out by one person so you have to consider like ore distributions and resource distributions and, and just a million economy things. and all sorts of stuff Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're considering that. And, and like if you're making a new MMO these days, you're competing with 20 years of content and, and and all the other people that would be potential MMO players having to you have going to have to convince them of their that you, joining your MMO, your new MMO is worth leaving the sunk cost that you spent 
any other MMO. And that's that's a very difficult task mm -hmm. because people grow attached to their characters that they that they spend time and years of time on. Yeah. So right. like <laughs> convincing people to that's leave is, is really difficult. Mm -hmm. People also get attached to the games. So people like like I know a lot of people that are like World of Warcraft players, you know, they're like they're not MMO gamers. They're not gamers. They don't play video games. They play World of Warcraft. There are people that play only World of Warcraft. There are people that only play League of Legends, that only play Counter Strike. So these people are never going to switch. There are some people that will switch, but I think most people just are so locked into their games now. That they've been playing for so long. The yeah. best thing to happen to MMORPG genre would be if, like, somehow the, the world governments all banned World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> <laughs> and like any game older than five years old shut down. Imagine, what would the gaming landscape look like today? All these, you know, people were held hostage to all these old games. Everyone's still playing League, people are playing Dota, people playing Counter-Strike. If these games all shut down, I think we have a lot of interesting new games to play. Yeah, there, there was a study that I, I think showed that 70% or something like that of gamers are playing games that are more than eight years old. I'm surprised it's not, it should be way higher than that. <laughs> yeah. Like game time wise, it might be well, higher. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's just going to be naturally the case, right? Because like more games are going to come out as time progresses mm -hmm. and there's going to be a, a, you know, a library of games from before mm -hmm. eight years ago. So of course, like the, the number is going to go up on that. And mm -hmm. those were always supposed to be like more than some of their parts. Like the moment so Socializing and gaming became like two entirely separate things, whether through messengers or Discord. Yeah. Like MMOs lost so much of their charm. Like so much of MMO games were the dialogue and interactions. Oh yeah, that's and, the sorry, go ahead. I'll let you and, and even like and even like PvP and games, like like what was cool about MMOs, you could you could do PvP, you could do PvE, you could socialize, you can trade. But nowadays, like if you want a PvP and like if you're playing World of Warcraft PvP, like okay, look, WoW PvP is probably is much better than Final Fantasy PvP. It's not even close. Yeah. Or yeah. most other MMOs. But you can't say WoW PvP is better than like a game like League of Legends where the whole game is dedicated towards PvP and it's mm -hmm. more balanced around these heroes fighting each other. But it's cool that you can PvP in a game where you can also craft, that you can also raid, that you can also socialize in. Yes. But now everything is fragmented. Everything got separated. Everything got unbundled, you know? Yeah, when the whole people bundle want, is kind of pointless now. Mm -hmm. People want uh, like the experience of PvP. They'll just play a PvP game yep. is what you're saying. It's exactly. just much better. Yeah. It's, it's just better, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and again, that, that goes towards what we said earlier is that uh, these games are very expensive to develop, right? Um, you know, developing, like, putting all of your focus on, like, a PvP game for the PvP element. You know, you need entire teams, right? For, like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. to, you need an entire team to create content, you need an entire balance team. And these MMOs, it's, it's not just that, right? Now they have to do, like, raids, raid balancing, they need content, like, you know, quest quest development. Very expensive to, to develop. And I, I, I think, I mean, what do you think of, like, um, yeah, I wouldn't, never mind, I wouldn't solve the problem. I was gonna say, what if, like, they, they kind of fragmented it, sort of similar to what Star Citizen is doing, where they have, like, the one player mode and then they have like the pvp mm -hmm. mode but then again that 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 just makes it just, just as fragmented it doesn't feel like a world at that point so i i mean i don't know if that's necessarily true you still you still have a world building environment and mm -hmm. you can just feel a part of it even if it's even if it's separate so i don't know it, i mean it really depends on how how you write it like there's there's the there's the mmo style where i mean there's two i guess two camps where one you're just like some schmuck adventure and then the, the other one is you're the chosen one which like final fantasy 14 does is uh -huh. In Final Fantasy XI, you're just an adventure, right? So if you were to cross the two, I mean, you can have you can have one where instead of just if you want to be the chosen one, make it a, like a single player environment where you're really important to the world. Whereas in the MMO, you're just some schmuck, you know. But but I definitely agree with what uh, what Remo said. Mm -hmm. Is a lot of the magic of of MMOs was the kind of socialization aspect. And I mean, we talked about this previously. How mm -hmm. you know just the ease of access of information, you know, things like Discord, like all, all of that kind kind of pulls away like the parts of the MMO that made it special. And I think that's why a lot of people see, see actually I think this is the this, this is the issue Remo is a lot mm -hmm. of people remember the nostalgia of that yes of that um community interaction that socialization and they don't mm -hmm. understand that the game itself is not what created that absolutely yes uh, th i think that's the that's the point that you're trying to make and i think i think that mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense and players fill in the blanks in their heads like the actual core gameplay in a lot of those games were really lacking I, I went back and played everquest on a classic server and i got to level 20 i got the max level i, I, I got the level 50 back when i played forever ago mm -hmm. but oh my god was the, was the actual <laughs> gameplay such a slog like 
you, your brain <laughs> made the game so much more fun than it was. You know, I, I, it's it's wild. Another another thing that's kind of, kind of hard to explain is that a lot of a lot there's a lot of magic in learning. That's why people like play all these survival games, like Shitty Duker, open world crafting survival game yeah. that comes out, and it's the same thing over and over because people are attracted to the the element of just going into a game, learning how things work, and, and just and just learning to get it, their way to the top. Uh -huh. And that that environment was a lot of like old MMOs because there's usually a lot of content in MMOs, and there's it was a lot of it was gated behind various grinds and other stuff. Mm -hmm. So when you were when all the all the elements of like learning were kind of separate, you spent a lot more time in it because to get to the, the elements of learning, it, it just took a lot of time and effort and social socializing. Yeah. So that's people people really like learning new things. Mm -hmm. it, people like learning how to optimize, learning how to get better, and all that stuff. So when you when you have environments now where half of the learning is just out of the game entirely it just separates people from the games not, not even not even just the socialization but the learning 